British tourist Tom Slater is taking a part of a visit on top of the Ignalina power plant in Lithuania. As a fan of HBO's Chernobyl series, he couldn't miss the opportunity to see where scenes set in the plant at Chernobyl were shot. Yeah, when, when we walked on it and then she explained what we were actually standing on, um, yeah, a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Ignalina was shut down in 2009, but the reactor's core remains highly radioactive. Communications specialist of the plant, Jurgita Norvaisiene, said that she and her colleagues were fielding more and more inquiries by people hoping to visit from all across Europe and beyond. There is higher interest and more inquiries now since we became more visible in the whole world after the TV series Chernobyl. So the inquiries to visit the control zone, because I have seen the series, are coming from everywhere. That is Canada, Japan, Australia, Spain, Czech Republic, France, various countries. Tours are also taking place in Fabioniskis, a district of Vilnius where series portraying the town of Pripyat within Chernobyl's exclusion zone were filmed. But these tours also have darker consequences. Aside from hopes of increasing tourist numbers, the series had reopened old wounds suffered during Lithuania's time as a part of the USSR. The Soviet leadership sent an estimated 7,000 Lithuanians to take part in the cleanup effort. The surviving workers, many of whom suffer from illnesses linked to the cleanup, say their case still needs to be addressed by Lithuania's government. Kestutis Kazlauskas was one of them. The main health problem we had after working on liquidation of Chernobyl plant were immediately the thyroid gland, high blood pressure and teeth falling out. Not all of them, but I could take them out myself. No doctor needed. Kozlowskis established an organization of Lithuanians who worked at Chernobyl to lobby for support from Lithuania's government. What we need are a few things, that they reduce the age requirement for pensions to an average of 47 to 50 years, according to our research, and to keep to Paris and Vienna conventions on health benefits and social guarantees. But the government is preoccupied with another nuclear worry. In Belarus, not far from Lithuania's border, a plant with two reactors is under construction in the city of Astravets. The plant, which is being built by Russia's Atomstroexport and financed with a $10 billion loan from Moscow, has been viewed by Lithuania as a threat to its safety and national security. We still believe that this plant shouldn't exist, but we will do the utmost in order to make sure that it will be uh, as, as, as less as possible detrimental. So far, Belarus has denied Lithuanian allegations that the plant is not being built to the highest safety standards, an assessment that still does not convince Lithuania's top officials.